I'm absolutely loving the Madden 17 music, man. Let's go. It's your boy, Launchpad 1412. I actually had planned on singing the Madden 17 song, you know, as far as the intro is coming in. But being as I can't sing, you know, we're going to stick with this for now. <laughs> we got some uh, online rate match gameplay right here. Going against the Patriots. My opponent is the Patriots. Random opponent, of course. Someone asked me to play with the Jaguars. I'm here not getting those pins. Deliver that mail. You guys know how I do. In the comment section right now, if you want me to play with the Pacific team, let me know. I do the best I can. As the Prince gets a pick right there, I do the best I can to play with the team that you desire. So definitely um, do that. You know, hook your boy up with some teams to play with. You know, uh, There's a team that gets more likes than all the other teams. I'll try to play with that team as soon as possible. That definitely be a way to um, you know get me to play with a team sooner. I just try to. I, I got a list. You know, teams that everybody wants to play with, so I just try to go by the lessons. I get a crazy touchdown right there by Allen Robinson. My goodness, catching up with two people. Maybe a top 10 play. Maybe I should send it to Toke. Let me know. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, David versus Goliath here. Even though this David, as far as the Jaguars, is actually not too small, man. This is actually a pretty good team, especially offensively. Allen Robinson at the helm with the number one wide receiver. Blake Bortles is not bad. He throws, he can make just about every throw. The two-headed monster in the backfield, Chris Ivory, TJ Yeldon. Not bad, man. Not especially for Madden purposes. I will probably I'm probably gonna rock with this team more than I usually rock with the Jaguars this year. I like this team a lot. I like this team. I like the uh, Broncos. It's probably my two favorite teams on the game right now. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna win the game. And they also got Allen Hearns, who's not bad. Julius Thomas. This is really not a bad team <laughs> offensively, especially for Madden purposes. Let me put emphasis on that. Because in real life it's very different. You know, they got some uh you know, some stepping stones to step on. You know, they got some levels they got to, you know, get to. But I'm sure they will one day. As, as my opponent gets a nice catch right there. This guy I was going against was pretty good. You'll be able to tell. Nice, very, pretty accurate. Nice short yardage throws. Didn't make an abundance of mistakes. Even though he did throw a couple picks early. But, I mean, this guy, he, he definitely... um was pretty good. I think it's a nice catch right here to Gronkowski. But before we get into more into the content, let's talk about tonight's events. We got the Broncos versus Panthers game one of the season. I'm over hyped for this game. Um, I'm, I'm overjoyed. I'm over the hype. If you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at Launchpad1412. Uh, when I get home, I get off at 8. So when I get home and I get to the game, I will be tweeting out some stuff, you know, especially because I'm going to be excited to watch the game. I'll be tweeting out my thoughts on the game. You know, comment, get in on the thoughts. Comment with me, you know, tell me your opinion on the thoughts. Tell me I'm, I'm crazy. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Tell me I'm a genius. Tell me I'm right on point, man. Whatever you want to tell me, man, just, uh, just hit your boy up on Twitter. We can have some discussions. Let's, let's have some fun with it, you know. Hit your boy up at Launchpad1412. Matter of fact, it'll be a really good idea to do that because I got some giveaways coming up that I really think you guys are really going to want. So definitely, uh, definitely hit your boy up on that Twitter, man. It, it would be wise to do that. Trust me on that. But yeah, Broncos versus Panthers. Who does Launchpad think is going to win the game? Uh, my opinion, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. I, I like the Panthers. You know, I, I don't really know about the Denver's quarterback right there. Um, I think it's, I think it's Trevor Simeon. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm sure you know what his name is. But I'm not. I'm not sure about him. I'm not sure about him. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to to answer the bell. I thought I could see, you know, a little bit more of, you know, how he plays and, you know, who he is as far as a competitor. Then I'll be able to determine whether I can, you know, start saying that he'll be able to beat up upper echelon teams, you know. So, for right now, I'm going to go with the Panthers. The Panthers are probably going to be seeking some revenge. And they, they know they're going against a team that, that won it. You know, they do got the um, MVP in Cam Newton last year. They're going against the champs. They're going to chance beat them. I know I would want some revenge. That, that would that's be enough to motivate me to want to beat them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. But that should be enough motivated right there losing the Super Bowl. So, I, I like the Panthers. You know, it's going to start. It's going to be funny because it's going to start off a little shaky. You know, who's going to break out? You know, who you guys got in fantasy? You know, who's going to you know put up some fancy numbers that's going to wow you? You know, you, when you have a fancy football team, you kind of you kind of want Cam Newton to start off great, even though at the same breath you know it might it might be a possibility that he's probably not going to start off too great because you know he's going to be a little nervous. Everybody's going to be nervous, so it's going to be interesting to see how Johnson Stewart does. I know somebody got the starting Johnson Stewart. Somebody's probably starting uh, Trevor Simeon. Who knows? But I know people are starting Demarius Thomas. So it's just going to be interesting to see, um, you know, what happens. But, you know, fancy football tip right here. Just in case you guys um, are playing fancy football. <laughs> fancy football tip. Watch watch for the good players that don't do well in week one. And if you're if people you're going to get some fancy football have them and they don't do well, 
Try to make trades for them when you know, you, when you know eventually they're going to do well. Because people will give up on people quick that don't do well. A little fancy football tip right there. That's something that I try to do to try to stay ahead of the game in week one. But let's get into this game. 26 to 14. I have the lead here. I'm trying to figure out a way, you know, to, of course, to make it so that my opponent can't come back, man. He runs to the left right here. Fumbles right here. The rookie Fowler. I believe that's the rookie right there. Fowler Jr. Gets a nice little recovery on that. And then we're, we're back in business. But check out what happens at the top of the fourth quarter. Kind of middle of the fourth quarter. Being like this is a six-minute uh, quarter in, in the online rank match. I do a nice little run to the right right here. Get a nice, get a nice couple of yards. Nothing too big. Another one with TJ Yeldon. And he fumbles the ball. I'm like, come on, Yeldon. What are you doing? Then he gets the brilliant catch right here, and he's seven yards away from getting a touchdown. This is a problem, man. This is just a momentum. Any matter player that's not going to give up needs, this guy's not going to give up. Needs to find a way to come back and get a crazy victory here. Let's see what happens. Second, second and goal. He drops back. I think he wanted to go over the middle, was unsuccessful as his uh, wide receiver drops the ball. I believe that was Julian Elman. I'm not sure. He wanted to fade to Gronkowski, but Tom Brady overthrew it. Fourth and goal. We get the sack right there. How about that? Woohoo! Damn, I was so nervous, man. If he would have got a touchdown right there, that would have been um, that would have been something because my offense was I, I, I was I wasn't getting necessarily. See, I'm punting right here. See, I'm not, my offense not necessarily getting stagnant, but you know, I think he's starting to. I think he was starting to figure out what I like to do as far as you know, running the ball and, and passing the ball. You know, and, and I just tried to. I didn't want to play too conservative, but I didn't want to throw the ball away either. As I do get a pick right here, use a pick right here, or Paul Pulaski, I believe. And we're gonna to try to take this one to the house, and you know, we're unsuccessful in doing that. Good game to my opponent, man. GG. You know, he he, he put up a heck of a fight. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I play this guy again, the game would be a lot closer. Especially if we had these two teams. I'm telling you that right now, um, the game would be a lot closer. You know, a guy like him, I would rather, I would prefer to play um, with a better team. And the Jaguars a little, you know the Jaguars, you know they're pretty good though. You know that's what I'm saying. I really can't say that too much because the Jaguars. Are, oh, that, I'm trying to tell you right now, the Jaguars are going to be a team. A lot of people you're probably going to be facing a lot if you play online rate matches. This is a pretty good team right here. Now shout out to my opponent. Um, much love, much respect to him. But um, as I play the game more and more, you know I, I would get more comfortable with teams, and maybe the Jaguars is a team that I would be, you know gun hold on as far as like a team that I'm like okay this is what team that I really want to do battle with when I go up against tier one opponents but shout out to you guys you guys are the greatest subscribers on the planet don't forget to follow me on Twitter this is your boy launchpad 1412 you guys enjoy the vid I'm out